Railed is a real hidden gem, and to be honest, I'm surprised it's not more popular. It's a solitaire railroad building puzzle game based on the pen and paper game 30 Rails, but with some differences. I love the visuals and sound, and the gameplay is one of those simple to learn yet difficult to master puzzles which I so easily get hooked on. There are a couple of downsides, although there are plenty of resolutions to choose from, there's no full screen mode. Music and sound controls are separate, but if you set the sound to zero, it will also disable the music for some reason, so you can't play with just music and no sound effects. You can choose which color options you want to appear in the game, which is great, although these are mostly decorative, and colorblind players shouldn't have any trouble knowing where they can place pieces. The main issue is the lack of a tutorial. There's an instruction screen, but it lacks some critical information. If you're familiar with the pen and paper game, you probably won't have any trouble, but since this was my first time playing this type of game, it did take me some time to understand what my goal was. Fortunately, the game makes it clear what you need to do at each step, and it only took me a couple of rounds to figure out what my objective should be. In case you're not familiar with the game, allow me to teach you how to play right now. The rules and mechanics are pretty simple. Your goal is to build railway lines between the different stations, as many as you can, and you get bonus points for connecting a station to the mine or going over the bonus square. At the start of each round, the board is randomized with a color and image scheme and a few mountain tiles, which railroads can't pass through. First, you choose a bonus goal, which will give you lots of extra points if you manage to complete it. Then you place the mine on one of the available spaces, then the four railway stations at the four edges of the board. Then you place the bonus space. Now the game starts. You press the red X button to stop the train moving past in the background. One of the cars will open, revealing a piece of track in the color of that car. You can only place the piece on a square that lines up with that color along the edge of the board. But don't worry, the game clearly shows which spaces are available, so you don't need to keep track of that yourself. If you don't like the piece you've been given, there will be three other options below it which you can choose by spending some of your gold. One of them is a question mark, which means you don't know which piece you'll get until you've bought it, and then you're stuck with it. Now and then you'll get some lucky silver or gold track pieces which give you bonus points when you place them, and can go anywhere on the board. Place the track in your chosen space with left click, then you continue clicking it to rotate it, and if you go through all the possible rotations, you can pick the piece back up again. Once you're satisfied with its placement, hit the red X button again to call the next piece. You get points for each complete line between stations, plus points for each line to the mine. Completing a track is harder than it sounds, though. Because the pieces come in a random order, it's hard to plan ahead, and though skill is definitely a factor, there's also a bit of luck involved. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you like this sort of solitaire puzzle game, you'll probably enjoy it. It's on sale now for just a few dollars, euros, or pounds, and I'm pretty sure you'll get your money's worth. But if Railed isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Patrons!